people who are on the edge of church because of creeds, doctrines, uh, maybe because they're gay, maybe because they're lesbian. And uh, my role as, as chair of, of the Progressive Christianity Network in Britain is to actually help people be authentic, to rediscover things which are not new, they've been there from the beginning, but actually getting back to them and then working them through in daily living. I would say anything by uh, Marcus Borg, anything by Dom Crossan, John Dominic Crossan, things by Jack Spong, Karen Armstrong obviously, uh, her case for God is magnificent. So yeah, uh, my, I, I've got a book published by O Books called Setting Jesus Free, that's been out for two years. Uh, the new book, uh, Dying to Live, again, an imprint from O Books, should be out any time. Uh, to those Christians who suggest, and, and some suggest very strongly, that progressive Christianity is destroying the faith, my response is, you know, the church in the Western world doesn't need my help for it to die. It is dying anyway. Uh, for me, progressive Christianity is very, very clear. It is, we know what we believe, it is well researched, it is founded in the faith, in the, in the scriptures, it's founded in the relationship with Jesus. And young people, the churches say, why don't we get the young people? Well, we're not competing on the same ground. We don't have the zips out, we don't have the speed, and we churn out what? We've always churned out building, and these buildings we can no longer afford to maintain, uh, and we are diverting money and resources that we should actually be putting into the work of living the kingdom. And the, for me, the gospel is simple. Love God, love your neighbor. We've complicated it by creeds and doctrines. Yeah. And the problem with creeds and doctrines in that way is it creates the barriers. It's a means of saying who is in and who is out. Mm -hmm.